Hello everyone and welcome back to some of place into the breach. Let's go. We can get another power grid so we maybe should start with this one. Do not kill the volatile vac and protect the coal plant. Let's do it. These volatile vac don't have the courtesy to simply die. They explode and damage entire regions. Drive it away but whatever you do, do not kill it. No volatile vac here. And the artillery can stay behind them. That's a awkward build, especially we need to protect the plants so I put the melee guy there. Do not let the volatile vac die. Let's see if we can do that. Maybe we don't want to, to hit the Psyotic guy then. Oh, but what we can do... Oh no, that, it's gonna damage him for one. No. So... I was thinking if we hit if we hit here, he's gonna push be pushed into the building and he's gonna be pushed over there and block a spawn. Get damaged, but we're gonna block the spawn. Is that okay? It's a bit unfortunate actually, but I think it's fine. I kind of want to keep the Sonic guy alive here. Yeah. I want to move the volatile always with the artillery. So what I can do over here is moving up. We could shoot this one and then what we can hit first, the first is this. So if we shoot him, both of them will take damage. He's gonna lose an HP. He's gonna die, he's gonna die. It's gonna be on 2 HP, if he runs into fire, he's gonna die, right? So I want to just end the turn. Okay, this might be a problem. Umi oh my. That's five buildings being attacked. There's no way we can... We can save this. It's just no way. We will take damage on some buildings. Since the maximum... He can knock back, the artillery can knock back two from buildings or away. We, we can't hit more than two. And then the other two can hit one each. He can block and hit, but not this attack. Like this we could block, and then he can't hit anything else. And the artillery is a bad position. He can't either. Thing is, if we if we let the civilian building die, we're gonna get damaged in the power grid a lot. We're getting back if we protect the coal plant, and that's what I want to do. So I probably want to. Hit you with that. Did we actually? Yeah, we damaged our guy. That's sad. Ooh. Move you. Oh, 
Oh, that's three damage, that's too much. But I, I screwed up. Can't prevent that damage. So what I'm gonna do then is kill the Scion. That's that's gonna hurt. Why is this happening? Thing is, you are completely useless there. I guess we'd rather kill something than not kill something. And we can move you away. Oh no. We need to get to you somehow. And we can't. Oh no. And resetting the turn doesn't help. We're gonna we're gonna lose the power grid as well. This is horrendous. I'm not gonna hit him. It would kill the volatile and then we'd be in sh yeah, okay. Oh no, that's... Oh no, that's a horrible start! We didn't kill the Volatile back, but we lost so much HP. Drawn out by offensive against the Vec, the Hive leader saw the corporate HQ. So we lost those districts? Destroy the Hornet leader, protect the corporate tower. Let's do it. Seems like boss battle some sort? Some kind of vac abominations approaching our headquarters. Whatever it is, it must be stopped. Okay. Oh my good lord. A massive unit will can walk into water. Flying? Invergrating spores. The sold up scion is providing plus one HP to the vec. Oh yeah, See, he had he has one HP. Hively, the most powerful vec immune to water. They can be more challenging to kill. Step three tiles in a row for two damage. Holy crap! Why would you do this to me? We need to protect the tower. We can only take two hits on buildings. Okay, I got an idea, guys. Okay, it's a bad idea. Didn't pay ta very much attention. I was thinking, oh, if this hits this, then we'll be fine, but I can't get this to hit this. A tech order even would have been enough, but... So, you will shoot him away. And then you will hit this one. Next turn, he's dead. And we'll kill him almost, and we'll weaken the lead. Uh, we need to kill the boss first. That's a ridiculous amount of damage. Sadly, not getting a. Uh, why? Okay, okay, listen here. We got ways to go now. I think this is the perfect start. You're gonna hit you two guys, you're gonna hit him first, so the Scion dies. 
he loses an HP, he loses two HP of you, we need to hit him once once more. Ah. Oh. I did I did a bad. If I hit him now with the artillery. Okay. What I want to do is hit you here. If we if we hit here now with the artillery to do the damage, he's gonna knock back and he's gonna get knocked back. And the scion will not die. Since uh, the boss monster is then over here and the scion is then over here, so too far away. Which means I need to reset the turn, yeah. That's my my one do over. We need to attack with this one first. And then do the rest. Because this kills both of these, and he's attacking first. Yeah, and then you kill him. And we take no damage again, and almost all of the enemies are dead, and even the boss is almost dead as well. That was great. Like, there you go. We can hit him away. We could also hit you. Oh, we cannot hit him away. Oh, yeah, we, we can hit him away like this. I misclicked. Oh, no. What am I even doing? And I, I got my reset. Oh, oh my. No. No. Oh, no. That's just horrendous. That's. Oh. I, I cannot believe I just did that. That's what I thought. The next hit kills us, and our, our artillery can't move, and I think we might be dead because I misclicked that right there. I am not even kidding. I think this might be the end. Since we can't protect the last power grid now. You can't move over here to, to body block. You can't move over here to body block. You could kill yourself if you do that, so I need to attack him first with this. Then I can move you away. I can hit you. I could move you, move those away, it doesn't help. The thing is this guy is attacking before him. So we move him in here to block, it doesn't help. But if we... no, it doesn't help. Nothing helps. We're done. That's the end. Cannot believe we lost the first mission. Because of misclick. Because I could... We got victory in one turn and we can prevent... Like kill him knock him out over here and then we'd only take one damage and that's the one damage I misclicked last turn that's incredibly frustrating like getting getting this here prevents the damage there move here punch him prevents the damage there that's one damage we'll take and That's the terrible hor horribleness that happens when you misclick and already use your... Find new Plylands, last traveler. We'll take him again, he gets bonus experience per kill. Okay. We have, we have nothing unlocked. Yeah. 
So we'll just do the same thing again. And this time we will not suck, so... Okay, where do we want to go? Defend the artillery support. Destroying the dam. Let's do this. We got artillery support incoming. That's pretty nice. Okay, how can we defend this? It's two tiles for two. You can't really deal there, uh, do anything there. What happens if we punch him into that and hit him first? Uh, never mind, we're stupid. So the, this he's going to tank now. No, we can't do that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We yeah, I was thinking if we push him in there and the, the back would have survived, would have hit him and then set the trees on fire and then we would have died. But I think that was okay. Yeah, when always there's an action still available. Losing, like getting the first damage is completely fine. And two Vex when we have four available is... We'll put you here and then hit you for two. Pretty easy. Gonna put you there, push you to the dr drink. You are gonna get to position. No reason to attack since we got everyone deleted. Gonna take a hit for the spawn block. That's not where you wanna be, my dear friend. Like I said, that's not where you want to be at all. I don't think we want to move there. If we move there and then he gets webbed and attacked, should be terrible. Thing is, I really don't want to have him standing there, but he got webbed again. Don't web him! No! Oh, but there's no more spawning, so it's perfectly fine. That might have been stupid. I just realized that it's a flying one, so we can't push him into the drink. But we can kill all the Vex. Okay, that was incredibly easy, as far as first mission goes. Warning tidal wa waves, what does this do? I have no idea. Old town, warning tidal waves. Or we could get here and destroy the dam and finally see what destroying the dam does. I also want to see what destroying the tidal waves does, but let's do this. Meg, you're ready to destroy the dam. Ooh, a pod?
Okay, I want to see what happens. It destroys the pod, so we're gonna reset the turn. I know we only got one some reset, but... So we need to move him here. He's gonna die. You're gonna secure the pod. You're gonna use your... Oh, you're gonna use your magic to hit him. Have a block the spawn. You're gonna die when I destroy the dam. Gonna take a hit of this guy on my tankiest mech. That's completely fine. And we secured the, ti the time pod. And then you could... No, who, who can still hit? Oh, no, you're waterlogged anyways. So it's completely fine. That's, that's kind of what I thought would happen if you destroy the dam. To be honest. Look at this. Right? It got, it's gotta be good. One into the drink. Move here. Punch you into the rock to kill you. Got a level up. What did we get? Plus T3 grid defense. Wait. Did we heal grid defense or what happens? Skills? Did we get plus 3 max grid defense after the battle? I honestly don't know. We could block here. And hit him, but he's gonna hit our tank then. I think not blocking is fine. Yeah, we're gonna skip another attack. Feels bad always, but the artillery on the other side of the water with the dam is just... ...an amazing setup for us. Listen here. Push everyone away. Push you into the drink. And then we'll push you into the drink. Those two are attacking and not doing much. I think that's a good idea. Oh wait, one of our objectives is blocking back spawning. And I failed that miserably. Oh, I was so focused on... Ugh. Okay. That's that's not, just not paying attention. Pay attention to your bonus objectives, dude. And uh, because I just realized it in the last turn when they're no no longer spawning, we failed. We failed completely. Not completely, we got the dam mission. And now I know what the dam does. I like the dam a lot, actually. And we got a pod. Brute class cannon. Shoot a projectile that phases through object. That's great. And a reactor core allows an upgrade on max. And we got... Grid defense increased by 3. This affects the change of resistant building damage in combat. The chance of resisting building damage. Interesting. Damages and pushes the target. And now we got this one that shoots a projectile that damages and pushes the target and phases through objects, right? Still the same thing, but it phases through objects. And we got one pot. We could make buildings immune again. Health and move, health and move, health and move. Yeah, I'm gonna make buildings immune again. I think that's the way to go. We're gonna check what tidal waves does. Yes, we are gonna do that. And oh, we can probably see an offshore volcano is causing tidal waves along the coast. It may help wash away the vex threatening the area. Okay. Ooh. 
This tile will become starter of the uh, water at the start of enemy turn. Confirm that. Ah. Interesting. Protect the old earth bar and kill seven enemies. We can do that. Okay. I'm thinking. I want to damage him. Shooting through buildings, block in an attack. The thing is, if I want to damage, I should shoot with the artillery first. And then use the punch to punch him away. No damage so far. Okay, you're, you're dead anyways. block this or kill this for sure okay I got a plan listen here he's dead anyways we can punch him and what we can do with the artillery is move it here do this so he gets pushed away it's not attacking anything he get he hit damages this one and then you will shoot him Damage him once, kill the guys, you kill this one, and he's dead anyways, he's not attacking anything. Beautiful turn. And now we got two, two enemy Vex that we need to defend. The shooting through buildings one is actually amazing. Ah, oh, we only killed six enemies, and that's the last turn. No, we we ah, uh, we stopped a we stopped a spawn too much. It's just sad. Ah, uh, no. So, so many failures, but we're close to 30 minutes, I think this is going to be the end of the episode, we got much to learn and I'm already, that's, I mean this is just me not reading, the, the block, failing to block the spawn, and this was just miscalculating, I, I need to, to probably focus more on the bonus objectives. Other than that, it was a great run though, so far, we'll continue the next episode, hopefully we'll finally actually beat the first island. Which is kind of like starting the run, I'd imagine. I hope you guys had fun. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.